All right, so I just finished making my uh, second batch of charcoal for the day, and um, I just sat here watching it, and I think I've learned some stuff about what's going on in the process that um, might be kind of fun, and so I thought I would uh, go ahead and share it with you. So right, this is my setup. I, what it is is it's two drums, a, a large 55-gallon drum on the outside uh, with a small 30-gallon drum on the inside. Inside the smaller drum are pieces of wood that look like this, or just um, uh, some kind of oak flooring that I had laying around. And then there's a fire around that drum to heat the wood uh, and start the charring process. So I thought I would do a, a, a little animation just to kind of uh, explain the things that I'm seeing with the, with the burn. The, uh, the first thing is we start with the large barrel here. And at the bottom of the barrel, I've cut some two-inch holes to allow air into the burn. And then there's a smaller barrel in the center. That's my charring barrel. And that barrel uh, will actually have a lid that I'll put on it. Uh, and inside that barrel is going to be all the wood that I'm going to char and use for my charcoal. And once I filled that smaller barrel, I go ahead and put the, uh, the lid on it. And then I will turn it over and put it upside down inside the larger barrel with the lid at the bottom of the barrel. And in the space between the two barrels, uh, I'll go ahead and fill that uh, with what I'll call burn wood. That's the wood that I'm going to burn that, I, that I'm going to use to heat that inner barrel. All right, with my uh, barrel filled with burn wood, uh, I go ahead, I'll go ahead and light it and we'll get the fire burning inside the barrel. One of the things I forgot to mention was actually there's a little quarter inch hole. You can see the little white dot. A little quarter inch hole uh, on t in, that I've drilled in the bottom uh, of the smaller barrel. And that'll act as a vent for wood gas to escape from. Now the first thing you notice when you start to burn is smoke will start to come out. And that's actually uh, more steam-like. It's just driving off the water off the, uh, off the wood inside the uh, char barrel. The next thing I typically notice is actually a small flame coming out of the top of that vent. And that's actually the wood gas igniting uh, and burning once it gets out into an oxygen-rich environment. The next thing I notice is at the bottom of the barrel where I put the lid, uh, I'll start seeing uh, large flames coming out of the bottom of the barrel, and they're under high pressure. At least it sounds like they're high pressure. Uh, and this is wood gas escaping from the, from the barrel and burning and then superheating the wood inside the barrel, thus creating even more wood gas. And if you listen, you can actually hear the pressure at which that wood, that wood gas is escaping and burning inside the barrel. After 45 minutes of burn and about two hours of cool time, this is what you end up with. Barrel of charcoal. Hopefully you found that as interesting as I did. Probably not, but that's all right. Um, anyway, thanks for watching and uh, come back again.